Yeah, so first we're gonna start with the gait assessment. Um, I like to start with you know, this for any new or reoccurring client. Pretty much we're looking at just a broad sense of areas that we need to focus on during the session. So I'm gonna ask Anand, please walk from here all the way towards the camera. Um, we will notice a little bit of dip in the shoulder here. This is telling me that there's probably a lat tightness along with tightness on this left hip. From previous sessions, we know he has a lot of anterior hip flexor um, and, and mobility. So we'll probably start there and we'll start working up the lats and into the mid thoracic. Every session starts like this, whether you're new or you know reoccurring, it just gives me an idea of benchmarks and how to reprogram you know, the session for you next time you come in. So in the beginning of each session, while we're laying on the table, I'm still assessing here. So we start off with a little bit of traction, just so I can see different lengths in each leg. And now, can you please place your left hand behind your head? The key throughout the stretching is to maintain tension throughout, but not giving the client any sort of pain. On a threshold level, level we're going to about a six. We're staying there, and then we're applying PNF. PNF is proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. So pretty much he'll be contracting in the opposite direction to stretch, engaging that muscle, and then when he relaxes, we'll be able to get a little bit further. So now please press this heel through me towards the wall to your left. Good. We're gonna take a deep belly breath and relax. Good. And with this left, with the tension there, because how tight is, you can see how much more it gave there after release that tension. So right here, we're going to start in, in Nan's hip flexor. This is a main component, especially for individuals working in the office setting um, or people that cycle often. So pretty much a lot of tension gets built up right here in the front of the hip. And with tension here and, and chronic tightness, it draws the hip downward into an interior tilt. From here, the muscles in the back of the body, the, um, the QL and gluteus, they're trying to counteract that movement and pull those hips back in posterior position where they should be. But in the interior position, they cause a lot of pain, especially um, when individuals are feeling, you know, just normal low back pain to, you know, symptoms of sciatica. It, it's often coming from tightness in the front here. So now take a deep breath for me. And relax. And right here's a good example of when we're going to use PNF, uh, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. So right here, not, I want you to squeeze your core lightly. Good. And with 5% of your effort, you're going to try to bring this knee towards your chest and maintain that pressure until I tell you so. Deep breath. And relax. Excellent. All right, so right here, we're gonna head into Anand's lateral hip and his glutes. Um, this is another prime area that people are usually very, very tight in. Right here, he's probably starting to feel a little bit of that tension already, just with a little bit of this external rotation at the leg. So just by manipulating his opposite leg and knee, we can change the intensity of the stretch. So now I want you to rotate this knee to your inside. Good. Already by doing that, we increase the intensity of the stretch and then nine. Now I want you to turn that knee to the outside and see how much farther that leg goes now. So there's lots we can play with and, it's, and every session is different for everyone. So at the end of every session, I reassess the individual. We'll start with that same lateral stretch we went through, going from side to side just to see how much further he's getting because Doing other stretches in other areas loosens up the prime movers that we started with. And, and then we go into a little bit of just a strength assessment just to show them, you know, kind of um, where, what they need to work on in the future. So Anand, bring your heels all the way to your glutes. Good, I want you to bring those heels together. Excellent, and separate those knees slightly. Good, I'm gonna put my elbow and arm right in here. So what I want you to do is squeeze as hard as you can both your knees together. So from here, they can tell how much force they're giving and you know if it feels weak or not. With Anand, 
we can feel that there's a little bit of struggle to use the adductors in the middle and the insides of the legs to clamp together. This means probably a little bit of strength work is needed, which we can talk about after sessions. Um, strength work in these areas like the adductors and abductors on the outside of the leg can help stabilize the hips and get rid of pain in the long run. So you're not always trying to do extra mobility work. Sometimes, you know, that protective layer is in there beforehand. Um, and last one, so now right here, I want you to put your knees together and try to separate them as hard as you can. So right here we can see that non is a lot stronger on the abductors than the adductors. And that's just something that we need to improve in the future. Probably some band work, some supplemental work along with the heavy weight lifting that he's already doing.